Hello, welcome to another mindfish.com hard math question video. We're going to be taking you through yet another hard question from the uh, official SAT study guide. Again, strongly recommend you buy this book no matter what SAT uh, program you're using. Um, unfortunately, there aren't great explanations, if any explanations, for the answers in here. So that's what we're doing. We're trying to help you out, give you some explanations for some of the hardest questions on the test. And also recommend that if you want more information, you go to mindfish.com. We've got plenty of videos, practice questions, and places where you can get your questions answered. So this question um, is a hard math question. It's question 8 on page uh, 595. And it's the last multiple choice question before the fill-ins. And as I've mentioned before, the last multiple choice question before the uh, student generated response questions is generally a very hard question. Now, I'd like you to try to get this question, but remember, you don't want to spend too long here. Oftentimes, students get caught up on this question for two, three, four minutes, and then they're going to run out of time on those uh, uh, free response or student generated response questions. So looking at the answers, I want you to see this question as a making up numbers question. And what I mean by that is, is that rather than do all the algebra necessary to get to one of these algebraic answers, we're going to use real numbers to prove that one of these answers will create the right answer with our numbers. So the first step in this is understanding the kind of terminology of the question. In the figure above, what is the value of C? So C is what we need in terms of A and B. All in terms of mean is when you plug in a and B. So essentially what we're going to do is we're going to make an A and a B, we're going to solve for our own C, we're going to plug in our A and B and we're going to find that C. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make A equal to, um, and looking at the picture, a decent approximation for A would be let's say 70 degrees and B uh, is looking like about 60 degrees. Okay, so now I'm just going to come into my picture and I'm just going to replace A with 70 B was 60, that's 130, that forces this to be 50. B was 60, A was 70, that's 130, that forces this to be 50, that forces this to be 80. B is 60, that's 140, that means C has to be 40 degrees with our numbers. So now we've got what we want, okay, and we have one step to go. We just need to take our A and our B and plug them in. So we ask ourselves, is 70? plus 180 minus 180 equal to 40? No. Is 140 plus 120, which is 260, minus 180 equal to 40? No. Is 180 minus 70 minus 60 equal to 40? No. Is 360 minus 70 minus 60 equal to 40? No. But 360 minus 140 is 220, minus 180 is in fact 40. Okay? So this was a making up numbers questions. Question. We go through all the do's and don'ts on making up numbers questions on uh, mindfish.com on the making up numbers video. Strongly suggest you go there and check it out. Uh, but again, whenever you see variables in the, in the answers at the end of a, uh, a math section, it's going to be much easier to make up numbers than it is to do the algebra. Okay? There was no equation, so there was no simple algebra to do. We would have had to gone in here and create, it, create a bunch of equations, usually about three here put them all together to end up getting this. And more often than not, you're going to make one little mistake, and that little mistake is going to cause you to get one of these other answers. So hopefully this helped you out, helped you see how you can do making up numbers on one of the hard math questions on the SAT, and hope to see you again in some of our hard math question videos or over at mindfish.com. Thanks. Mindfish.com will help you ace the SAT. Practice for the test with SAT Quest, our online SAT quiz game with over 1,500 practice questions. Learn difficult SAT vocabulary words with short, funny, and memorable vocab clips on video vocab. We've got test prep pros from Harvard and Stanford standing by to give you the test prep guidance that you need. Master every concept on the test with SAT videos. Mindfish.com, your resource for all you need to ace the test.